Hi friends, I'm going to make a few videos about pulse power sources. So today, I'll show some easy ways to disassemble pulse transformers. When trying to build pulse power supply, almost every radio amateur is faced with a problem of finding the right core. The most affordable way is using cores from industrial power supplies, in particular from computer. But disassembling transformer core for a winding is not easy. I'll show you several methods. The first method is to use boiling water. This is the most popular and affordable way. Just take a deep bowl and heat the water to boiling temperature. Then take a stick and bind in the middle copper wire or thick thread. The other end of the wire tied to the transformer pins immerse it in the boiling water. It is important that it doesn't touch the bottom. It would be somewhere in the middle. It is necessary for uniform heating on all sides. You should wait for 10-15 minutes, remove and gently, without additional efforts, disconnect core halves. Always wear gloves, because the core is very hot. The second method is to use hot air. If you have a hot air soldering station or hot air gun, you should to heat transformer core evenly on all sides, with temperature about from 220 to 260 degrees. Duration of working may be different. Just periodically check whether the adhesive is weakened. Some would think that with such a heating the magnetic permeability of the core may suffer. But this is not the case. I made measurements before and after procedure. The core does not lose its properties. The third method is to use powerful soldering iron. Turn on a powerful soldering iron, for example 100 watt, and wait till the full warm up. Install the transformer under the body of the soldering iron, where the heating element is located. The main thing is a gap absence for evenly heating. After from 10 to 15 minutes, warm up the other side. Then try to disconnect halves. If the glue is still not weak, it is necessary to continue heating. Do not use much force, otherwise core could broken. In all cases, it is necessary to heat the core, so don't forget about safety rules. In the next videos, I will show in detail the process of assembling a stabilized AC power supply with a capacity above 1000 Watt. Thanks for watching. If you like it, thumbs up. With you was Aka Kasyan.